Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to ask you a question. Have you been in a situation where you could see where everyone else fell short? You could list them. You could itemize their faults. Itemize the attitudes. Itemize where they fell short and where they failed you and where they disappointed you. Have you also taken a moment to make out another list of where you failed them? Of where you hurt them? Where your actions caused emotional scars for life? Hmm, you say. Well, the reason I'm asking that, I had a nice conversation this afternoon. And I realized as I was listening to the conversation, that there are many times we're in a situation, we don't really realize what it is that causes relationships to fall apart interpersonal family relationships to sour, bitterness to crop up between family members, and nasty feelings to take place between friends. Now, this is what I want to ask you. Are you wearing the halo or are you wearing the horns? I say that jokingly because when we're in a situation when we're dealing with people, we don't always see where we fall short. We see where they fall short. It's them, not me. Don't you see the halo hanging over my innocent, lovely, angelic head? They're wearing the horns, baby. Because I am as sweet as they come. And while you're telling the story, there are people sitting around who have watched you and listened to you down through many years. Uh huh. Down through many dangers, toils, and snares. And they have watched you while you were watching everyone else watching their faults, watching their shortcomings. Mm. Well, I'm here to tell you. Sometimes you have to take a moment when you've had enough failed relationships in your history. You have to take that moment and say, Lord, show me me. Now, I may not want to see it, I may not want to hear it, but I know I need to. If I really want to grow, I need to hear the bare bones truth about moi. Not them, moi. All right. So I ask you, to please take that moment with God and ask him to show you what you are like to be with. What bothers people about you. Ask God to show you if the halo is really a true image or is it a figment of only your imagination? You get what I'm saying when I say that? See, I remember I saw a movie years ago. It was a farce. It was a spoof on how people tell stories. And you had about, this is really inaccurate. This is just a uh, foggy memory, but this is my rundown. Just so you get the picture. You've got anywhere from three to four people telling the story and 
the first person, let's say, is the wife. The second person is the husband. The third is the friend. The fourth is the friend's spouse. So let's put it like that for now, because I don't remember all the details. But this is what I do remember. When the wife told the story, she was wearing a nun's outfit. You could hear the angels humming behind her. You could see the halo forming above with a little glow and a little sparkle. And she sat there and, oh dear, oh we mustn't do that. And her speech was that of the most saintly nun in life. Now, check this out. When the husband told the story, he was this gallant, victorious, strong, noble man who only did what he did for the better good of everyone. Now, here's the comical part. When the other two told the story, either the nun <laughs> was that heifer, oh, that she was so mean, oh, she was horrible. It all depends on your perspective. The noble man was like a lazy bum. No, I don't feel you go get it. It was so comical how everybody pictured themselves compared to how other people pictured them. So I say that to ask you. You can't go wrong when you ask God to show you who you really are. To show you what part of you really stinks. I had to do it. I, I'm telling you, it hurts when God tells you, you are needy. It hurts when God tells you, you are jealous. It hurts when God tells you, that's insulting. And it's insulting when God tells you, you're too desperate. When you ask God to show you yourself, he will. And in the very next video, I'm going to share with you one of my most embarrassing moments when God chose to show me to me. I shall return.